Saving lives, that's the mission of the Oklahoma Blood Institute, and now they're starting a new research initiative to help even more Oklahomans. The goal is to find cures for diseases, and I'm joined now by Dr. John Armitage. He's the president and CEO of the Oklahoma Blood Institute. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Russell. Thanks for having us on. Well, yeah, thank you for coming to explain a really cool thing y'all got going on now. Let's just start off from the top. BioLinked, that's the name of the research. Explain what that is. Yeah, BioLink is a, a new way for our donors to get engaged in research. Um, essentially, there are people in laboratories looking for human subjects, uh, people who will help them um, provide a blood sample, maybe even answer questions to help with their research. And uh, it's kind of a needle in a haystack kind of proposition for them. And we realize that we have wonderful donors who are willing to help uh, patients when they're sick. Why wouldn't they help scientists by volunteering a little bit of their information on a registry, kind of like a match.com for right. scientists and, and <laughs> right. uh, for our donors to find that research uh, that interests them and maybe participate. Um, down the road, they get uh, consented and, and maybe they give a blood sample, maybe they uh, get involved in finding cures. They're yeah. already helping doctors with treatments, uh, blood products. Yeah. Here's a way to help scientists with cures. And that's the goal, is to find cures. Absolutely. Um, scientists, um, you know, they're in their lab, they're working uh, incredible hours hours um, trying to find uh, the solutions to cancer and uh, multiple sclerosis and all these uh, terrible diseases and if we can help make that just a little bit easier by making that connection uh, we think that that's something our donors are going to want to do and it's certainly something we want to do as OBI trying to be a uh, another way to aid the community and you're getting good respo uh, responses already absolutely one of the most gratifying things is we haven't really promoted uh, the program very much we've been building the the website and uh, all the infrastructure to go with it and we've ha got over 1500 of our donors wow. who've uh, just kind of stumbled across it and yeah. signed up so well, how does that make you feel to see this it's moving in a good direction oh it makes me feel incredibly proud of Oklahomans our our staff our blood donors our volunteers everybody who's engaged with this because we're really transforming uh, this way of giving um, again we've been at blood banking for uh, at OBI for um, 40 years right. but now we're going into hey we can help in the laboratory We've helped in the operating suite. We've helped in the, uh, you know, the cancer wards. Uh, now we're in there helping with the science. And that's got to give a lot of people a lot of hope for the future that you can find possibly find cures for yeah, some absolutely. serious diseases. Absolutely. The average person probably isn't going to go get a PhD or a master's or become a lab technician. But maybe there's something unique in their family history or their own personal history that gives a medical clue to somebody who's looking for that and they've just never connected. So we want to be a a conduit, that match.com. Hey, let's have the person who's unique right. biology, who's something special about their family or themselves, let's hook them up to that researcher who's got the brains to put it all together. And you've kind of already explained my next question, but what is it that makes this so unique? Um, we're the first blood center to really get in there and create this kind of dynamic registry where we can ask uh, questions. And the, the donor who gets involved is free to answer those questions about their family or not, or it's, um, it's just like a, a, a matching site where the more information you put in, the easier it is for somebody to understand uh, what you offer the research community. But it's totally uh, self-driven. You can put in information. So hopefully it's uh, hitting on that uniqueness of your biology, your your situation, and, and turning it into something positive. And this is exclusively with the Oklahoma Blood Institute. Absolutely. We do want to uh, grow it to other blood centers because we think the magic here is being able to go and find tiny populations from the millions of Americans and uh, folks out there who are giving blood. So um, the strength will come in numbers, but we're piloting it here. We want to get the kinks out of this system, but we've already got multiple other blood centers who want to use our platform um, and grow into their own markets for the very same reasons we do. It makes their donors feel better and uh, makes their donors able to give in a, a, a special, special way. Yeah, it seems so exciting, the potential that this could have uh, in the health community. It is. Um, we had a uh, the pleasure of talking to uh, Dr. Judith James at uh, the Oklahoma Medical Research Foundation and what she was excited about is the ability to maybe look at preclinical disease where we can uh, sign people up for this program. They agree to be screened for maybe a marker of uh, rheumatoid arthritis or some disease before they even know they have it. Most researchers can't scan the normal healthy population that doesn't know that there's anything going on and kind of find those early disease markers and maybe 
start treatments even before the disease declares itself with a symptom. So being able to push therapy into that, that pre-disease phase is tremendously exciting. Okay, so if you're sitting at home, you're like, wow, this is cool. What do we need to know to participate? Uh, we're working with blood donors right now because our system is you know, as a blood center. That's how we process uh, our information, store our information. So the linkage is really to being a blood donor. So if you're a blood donor now, it's easy. You're going to find on a blood drive, we're going to ask you, do you want to participate? And the answer is yes. And then we'll email you later and the, with the link, and then you can fill in your profile, tell us what kind of research you're interested in, and then we build that profile to match up to a, um, a potential research project. And if you're not a blood donor, please come out. Uh, this is another way. It's great to save a life in the operating room, but now you can maybe find a cure in the laboratory. But uh, please become a blood donor. That's uh, 1-877-340-877. Hey, you did it. <laughs> All right. Man, thank you so much for coming by and talking to us. I mean, A, it's always important to give blood, but now you can help to, to, to some really important research. Absolutely. Awesome. And it's uh, Oklahomans doing what they do best. We're pioneering something. And and we're making a, a huge difference and we're leading the nation in uh, building this registry. There's nothing else to say. You just ended it perfectly, man. Thank Excellent. you so much. Thank you so much. All Appreciate right. it, Russell. Thank you.